Lata Mangeshkar pronunciation, born the 28th of September 1929, is an Indian playback singer and music director. She is one of the best known and most respected playback singers in South Asia, especially India. She has recorded songs in over a thousand Hindi films and has sung songs in over 36 regional Indian languages and foreign languages, though primarily in Marathi, Hindi, and Bengali. The Dadasaheb Phalke Award was bestowed on her in 1989 by the Government of India. In 2001, in recognition of her contributions to the nation, she was awarded the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honour and is only the second vocalist, after M. S. Subbulakshmi, to receive this honour. France conferred on her its highest civilian award Officer of the Legion of Honor in 2007. She is the recipient of three National Film Awards, 12 Bengal Film Journalists Association Awards, four Filmfare Best Female Playback Awards, two Filmfare Special Awards, Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award and many more. In 1974, she became the first Indian to perform in the Royal Albert Hall. She has four siblings. Asha Bosli, Raidanath Mangeshkar, Usha Mangeshkar and Meena Mangeshkar, of which she is the eldest. <laughs> Early life Lata Mangeshkar was born to a Marathi father and a Gujarati mother in the city of Indore, which was in the princely state of Indore, which was part of the Central India Agency in British India, present-day Madhya Pradesh, India. Her father, Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar, was a classical singer and theatre actor. Her mother, Shivanti, later renamed Shudamati, a Gujarati woman from Thalner, Bombay Presidency, now in northwest Maharashtra, was Dinanath's second wife. His first wife, Narmada, who had died, was Shivanti's older sister. Mangeshkar's paternal grandfather, Ganesh Bhatt Navatha Hardakar, Abhisheki, was a Gon Padai Brahmin priest who performed the Abhishekam of the Shiva Lingam at the Mangeshi Temple in Goa, and her paternal grandmother, Yesubai Rain, belonged to the Gomantic Maratha Samaj Devdasi community of Goa. Mangeshkar's maternal grandfather was Gujarati businessman, Seth Haridas Ramdas Lad, the most prosperous businessman and landlord of Thalner, and Mangeshkar learnt Gujarati folk songs such as Garbas of Pavagad from her maternal grandmother. The family's last name used to be Hardakar. Dinanath changed it to Mangeshkar in order to identify his family with his native town, Mangeshi in Goa. Lada was named Hema at her birth. Her parents later renamed her Lata after a female character, Latika, in one of her father's plays, Babandan. Mangeshkar is her parents' eldest child. Meena, Asha, Usha, and Raidanath, in birth order, are her siblings. Mangeshkar received her first music lesson from her father. At the age of five, she started to work as an actress in her father's musical plays Sangeet Natak in Marathi. On the first day in school, she started teaching songs to other children. When the teacher stopped her, she was so angry that she stopped going to the school. Other sources cite that she left school because they would not allow her to bring Asha with her, as she would often bring her younger sister with her. <laughs> Singing career <laughs> Early career in the 1940s In 1942, when Mangeshkar was 13, her father died of heart disease. Master Vinayak, Vinayak Damodar Karnataki, the owner of Naviug Chitrapat Movie Company and a close friend of the Mangeshkar family, took care of them. He helped Lada get started in a career as a singer and actress. Mangeshkar sang the song, Nachu Yaa Gade, Kelu Sari Mani House Bari which was composed by Sadashivrao Nevrakar for Vasant Joglaker's Marathi movie Kiti Hasal 1942, but the song was dropped from the final cut. Vinayak gave her a small role in Naviug Chitrapat's Marathi movie Pahili Mangala Gaur 1942, in which she sang Natali Chaitrachi Navalai, which was composed by Dada Chandekar. Her first Hindi song was Mata Ek Saput Ki Dunia Badal De Tu. For the Marathi film Gajabao 1943. Mangeshkar moved to Mumbai in 1945 when Master Vinayak's company moved its headquarters there. She started taking lessons in Hindustani classical music from Ostad Aman Ali Khan of Bendibazar Gharana. She sang, Paa Lagoon Kar Yori, 
For Vasant Joglaker's Hindi language movie Aap Ki Siva Mine, which was composed by Dada Davjekar. The dance in the film was performed by Rahini Bate, who later became a famous classical dancer. Mangeshkar and her sister Asha played minor roles in Vinayak's first Hindi language movie, Badi Ma. 1945. In that movie, Lada also sang a bhajan, Maata Tere Charnan Mine. She was introduced to music director Vasant Desai during the recording of Vinayak's second Hindi language movie, Subhadra. 1946. After Vinayak's death in 1948, music director Ghulam Haider mentored her as a singer. He introduced Mangeshkar to producer Sashadar Mukherjee, who was working then on the movie Shaheed 1948, but Mukherjee dismissed Mangeshkar's voice as too thin. An annoyed hater responded that in coming years producers and directors would fall at Lada's feet and beg her to sing in their movies. Hater gave Lada her first major break with the song Dil Mera Toda, Mujhe Kahan Ka Na Chora. Lyrics by Nazim Panapati in the movie Majboor 1948, which became her first big breakthrough film hit. In an interview on her 84th birthday, in September 2013, Lada herself declared, Ghulam Haider is truly my godfather. He was the first music director who showed complete faith in my talent. Initially, Mangeshkar is said to have imitated the acclaimed singer Noor Jahan, but later she developed her own style of singing. Lyrics of songs in Hindi movies are primarily composed by Urdu poets and contain a higher proportion of Urdu words, including the dialogue. Actor Dilip Kumar once made a mildly disapproving remark about Mangeshkar's Maharashtrian accent while singing Hindi, Urdu songs, so for a period of time, Lata took lessons in Urdu from an Urdu teacher named Shafi. One of her first major hits was, Ayyega Anewala. A song in the movie Mahal 1949, composed by music director Kemchan Prakash and lip-synced on screen by actress Madhubala. Topic: 1950s. In the 1950s, Mangeshkar sang songs composed by various music directors of the period, including Anil Biswas in films such as Tarana 1951 and Here 1956, Shankar Jaikishan, Naushad Ali, S. D. Berman, Amarnath, Husanlel, and Bhagatram in films like Bari Bayan 1949, Meena Bazaar 1950, Adi Riyat 1950, Chahoti Babi 1950, Afsana 1951, Anso 1953, and A.D. L. E. J. Hanger, C. Ramchandra, Hemant Kumar, Salil Chowdhury, Data Naik, Kayam, Ravi, Sajad Hussain, Roshan, Kalyanji Anandji, Vasant Desai, Sadir Fadke, Hunsaraj Beal, Maidan Mohan, and Usha Khanna. She sang, Sri Lanka, Ma Priyadara Jaya Bhumi, a song in Sinhalese, for the 1955 Sri Lankan film Seda Sulang. She made her debut in Tamil playback singing with, Vanaradam. In 1956, Yuran Kotala dubbed in Tamil with the Tamil song, Inthan Kanalan, for Nimi in the dubbed version composed by Naushad. Mangeshkar sang many raga based songs for Naushad in movies such as Didar, 1951, Baiju Bara, 1952, Amar, 1954, Yuran Kotala, 1955, and Mother India. 1957. A Kore Ki Jat Badi Biwafa, a duet with G. M. Durrani, was her first song for composer, Naushad. The duo, Shankar Jaikishan, chose Mangeshkar for Barsat, 1949, Ah, 1953, Shri 420, 1955, and Kori Kori. 1956. Before 1957, composer S. D. Berman chose Mangeshkar as the leading female singer for his musical scores in Saza 1951, House No. 44 1955, and Devdas 1955. However a rift developed between Lata and Berman in 1957, and Lata did not sing Berman's compositions again until 1962. Mangeshkar won a Filmfare Award for Best Female Playback Singer for Salil Chowdhury's composition, Aja Re Pardisi. From Madhumati 1958. In the early 50s, Lata Mangeshkar's association with Siram Chandra produced songs in movies such as Albella 1951, Shin Shinkai Bubla Abu 1952, Anarkali 1953, Pali J. H. Halak 1954, Azad 1955, Asha 1957, and Amardeep 1958. 
For Maiden Mohan, she performed for films like Boggy (1953), Railway Platform (1955), Pocketmar (1956), Mr. Lambu (1956), D. E. K. H. Kabira Roya (1957), Adilat (1958), Jailer (1958), Mohar (1959), and Cha Cha Zindabad (1959). Topic: 1960s. Mangeshkar's song, Pyar Kia to Darna Kya, from Mughal e Azam, 1960, composed by Naushad and pantomimed by Madhubala, still remains famous. The Hawaiian themed number, Ajib Dastan Hai Ye, from Dil Apna Aur Preet Parai, 1960, was composed by Shankar Jaikishan and pantomimed by Meena Kumari. In 1961, Mangeshkar recorded two popular bhajans, Ala Tero Nam, and Prabhu Taro Nam, for Burman's assistant, J. Dev. In 1962, she was awarded her second Filmfare Award for the song, Kahan Deep Jail Kahan Dil, from B's Sol Baad, composed by Hemant Kumar. In early 1962, Mangeshkar was given slow poison. A doctor was called. He came with an X-ray machine to examine her, and gave her an injection to render her unconscious, because she was in pain. For three days, she had a close brush with death. After ten days, she began to recover. The doctor told her that somebody had given her slow poison. The slow poison incident rendered her very weak. She was bedridden for nearly three months. The most surprising thing was that soon after the incident, the cook who used to work at Lataji's home, suddenly vanished without taking his wages. The cook had earlier worked with some Bollywood people. Bollywood lyricist Madhru Sultanpuri used to regularly visit Lataji at her home daily at 6 p.m. Madhru used to first taste the food and then allow Lata to eat. He used to recite poems and stories to keep Lata in good humor. On 27 January 1963, against the backdrop of the Sino Indian War, Mangeshkar sang the patriotic song, I Mir Watan K Logo, literally, Oh, people of my country in the presence of Jawaharlal Nehru, then the Prime Minister of India. The song, composed by C. Ram Chandra and written by Kavi Pradeep, is said to have brought the Prime Minister to tears. In 1963, Mangeshkar returned to collaboration with S. D. Berman. She also sang for R. D. Berman's very first film Chahote Nawab and later for his films such as Boot Bangla 1965, Paddy Patni 1966, Baharan K. Sapni 1967, and Abhilasha 1969. She also recorded several popular songs for S. D. Berman, including Aj Fear Jean Ki Tamana Hai, Gada Rehi Mera Dil, duet with Kishore Kumar and Pia Tos from Guide 1965, and Hothan Pei Icbaat, from Jewel Thief 1967. During the 1960s, Lata Mangeshkar continued her association with Maiden Mohan, which included the songs, Aap Ki Nazran Ne Samja, from Anpad 1962, Lag Ya Gale, and Naina Bars Rim Jahim, from Wo Kanti, 1964, Wo Chup Rahan Tu, from Jahan Era 1964, To Jahan Jahan Chalega, from Mera Saaya 1966, and Terry Anko K. Shiva, from Chirag 1969, and she had a continuing association with the maestros Shankar Jaikishan, who got her to sing in various genres in the 60s. The 1960s also witnessed the beginning of Mangeshkar's association with Lakshmikant Piarelal, the music directors for whom she sang the most popular songs in her career. Starting in 1963, Lakshmikant Piarelal's association with Lata Mangeshkar grew stronger over the years. Lata Mangeshkar sang over 700 songs for the composer duo over a period of 35 long years, most of which became huge hits. She sang for Parismani 1963, Mr X in Bombay 1964, Aaye Din Bihar K 1966, Milan 1967, Anita 1967, Shagard 1968, Mir Hamdam Mir Dust 1968, Intakam 1969, Durasti 1969 and Jean Ki Ra for which she got her third filmfare award. She also sang several playback songs for Marathi films composed by Marathi music directors including 
Raidanath Mangeshkar, Vasant Prabhu, Srinivas Kale, Sadir Fadke and herself under the name Anangan. During the 1960s and 1970s, she also sang several Bengali songs, composed by music directors like Salil Chowdhury and Hemant Kumar. She also made her Kannada debut in 1967 for the film Krantavira Sangoli Rayana by recording two songs for the music director Lakshman Berlekar. The song, Belain Balajiyithu, was well received and appreciated. In this period, Lata Mangeshkar has recorded duets with Mukesh, Mana Day, Mahendra Kapoor, Muhammad Rafi, and Kishore Kumar. For a brief period during the 1960s, she was not on good terms with Muhammad Rafi over the issue of royalty payments to singers. Mangeshkar wanted Rafi to back her in demanding a half share from the 5% song royalty that the film's producer conceded to select composers. But Rafi took a diametrically opposite view, and believed that a playback singer's claim on the filmmaker ended with the payment of the agreed fee for the song. This led to tensions between the two. After an argument during the recording of the song Tasvir Teri Dil Mine Maya, 1961, the two refused to sing with each other. The music director Jaikishan later negotiated a reconciliation between the two. Topic. 1970s In 1972, Meena Kumari's last film, Pakiza, was released. It featured popular songs including, Chalt Chalt, and In Hai Lagan Ne, sung by Lata Mangeshkar, and composed by Ghulam Muhammad. She recorded many popular songs for S. D. Berman's last films, including, Rangila Ri, from Prem Pujari, 1970. Kilt Hain Gul Yahan, from Sharmili, 1971, and Pia Bina, from Abhiman, 1973. She recorded many popular songs for Maiden Mohan's last films, including Destak, 1970, Hir Ranja, 1970, Dil Ki Rahan, 1973, Hindustan Ki Kusam, 1973, Hanste Zakam, 1973, Mazam, 1975, and Layla Majna, 1976. Lata Mangeshkar's most notable songs in the 1970s were composed by Lakshmikant Piarelal Lakshmi Piare, and Rahul Dev Burman. She recorded several songs composed by Lakshmi Piare in the 1960s and 1970s, many of them written by the lyricist Anand Bakshi. She also recorded many hit songs with Rahul Dev Berman in the films Amar Prem 1972, Caravan 1971, Kati Patang 1971, and Andi 1975. The two are noted for their songs with the lyricists Majru Sultanpuri, Anand Bakshi and Gulzar. In 1973, she won the National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer for the song, B.T. Na Bite, from the film Pariche, composed by R. D. Berman, and written by Gulzar. In 1974, she sang her only Malayalam song, Kadali Chenkadali, for the film Nelu, composed by Salil Chowdhury, and written by Vyalar Ramavarma. In 1975, she again won the National Award, this time for the song, Ruth Ruth Pia. From the film Kora Kagas, composed by Kalyanji Ananji. From the 1970s onwards, Lata Mangeshkar has also staged many concerts in India and abroad, including several charity concerts. Her first concert overseas was at the Royal Albert Hall, London, in 1974 and was the first Indian to do so. She also released an album of Mirabai's Bhajans, Chala Vahi Day, composed by her brother Raidanath Mangeshkar. Some of the bhajans in the album include Sonware Rang Rachi and Ud Ja Ri Kaga. In the early 1970s, she released other non film albums, such as her collection of Ghalib Ghazals, an album of Marathi folk songs, Koli Geet, an album of Ganesh Artis, all composed by her brother Raidanath, and an album of Abangs of San Tukaram composed by Srinivas Kale. In the 1978 Raj Kapoor directed Satam Shivam Sundaram, Lata Mangeshkar lends her voice to the main theme song, Satam Shivam Sundaram, which was among the chart toppers of the year. The story of being inspired by Lata Mangeshkar is revealed by Raj Kapoor's daughter Ritu Nanda in her latest book. I visualized the story of a man falling for a woman with an ordinary countenance but a golden voice and wanted to cast Lata Mangeshkar in the role. The book quotes Raj Kapoor as saying, in the late 1970s and early 1980s, she worked with the children of composers she had earlier worked with. 
Some of these composers included Rahul Dev Berman, son of Sachin Dev Berman, Rajesh Roshan, son of Roshan, Anu Malik, son of Sardar Malik, and Anand Miland, sons of Chitragupt. She also sang many songs in the Assamese language and had a very good relationship with Dadasaheb Falk Award winner singing legend, the late Bhupen Hazarika. She sang many songs under his guidance, and in Rudali the song, Dil Hum Hum Care, made the highest record sales that year. Topic: 1980s. From the 1980s onwards, Lata Mangeshkar worked with music directors including Shiv Hari in Silsila (1981), Fossil (1985), Vijay (1988), and Chandni (1989), and with Ram Laxman in Ustadi Ostad Se (1981), Bazuban (1982), Wo Jo Hasina (1983), Yi Kesafars (1985), and Main Pyar Kia (1989), which was a musical hit. She sang for various big projects including Ek Duya K Lie, Silsila, Kars, Prem Raj, Pyar Jukta Nahi, Ram Teri Ganga Mili, Hero, Nagina, Chandni and Ram Lakan. Her song, Zu Zu Zu, from Sanjog was a chartbuster in 1985. In 1988, Mangeshkar made a comeback to Tamil films with two back-to-back -back renditions, Araro Araro and Valai Ose. For composer Ilayraj's compositions for the films Anand and Sathya respectively. Lakshmikant Piarelal were the kings when it came to churning out hits. In the 1980s, they had Lata croon their biggest hits. Shisha Ho Ya Dil Ho. In Asha 1980. Two Kitni Baras Ka. In Cars 1980. Kitna Aasan Hai. In Dostana 1980. Hum Ko B Gum. In AA's PAA's 1980, Mir Naseeb Mine. In Naseeb 1980, Zindagi Ki Na Toot. In Kranti 1981, Sola Baras Ki. In Ek Duya K Liye 1981, Ye Galian Ye Shobara. In Prem Raj 1982, Lik Nawale Ne Lik Dale. In Arpan 1983, which was once extremely popular on Chitrahar on DD. Din Mahin Sal. In Avtar 1983, which revived Rajesh Khanna's career after an endless series of flops, Pyar Karnewale, and Nindia Se Jaggi. In Hero 1983, Zu Zu Zu. In Sanjog 1985, Zindagi Har Kadam. In Mary Young 1985, Baith Mir Paas. In Yadan Ki Kusam 1985, Ungli Mine Ango T. In Ram Avtar 1988, and O Ramji Tere Lakan Ne. In Ram Lakan 1989, Rahul Dev Berman continued to use Lata for melodious compositions. Some of the best Rahul Dev Berman compositions for Lata in these years include Aja Sar e Bazar in Alibaba Aur Chalice Chor 1980, Bindia Terrace in Fir Wohi Riyat 1981, Thodi Si Zameen in Sitara 1981, Kya Yahi Pyar Hai. In Rocky, 1981, Deco Main Deca. In Love Story, 1981, Tune O Rangeel. In Kudrat, 1981, John K's Cab. In Shakti, 1982, Jab Hum Jawan Hanj. In Betab, 1983, which became instantly popular, Humane Aur Jean. In Agar Tum Na Hot, 1983, Tuch Si Naraz Naheen. In Masum, 1983, Kahan Na Ya. And Jeevan K. Din. In Bay Dil Walla, 1983. John Kya Baat. In Sunny, 1984. Buri Buri Ankan. In Arjun, 1985. Sagar Kinair. In Sagar, 1985. Din Pyar K. Iyenge. In Sever Wali Gadi, 1986. Kya Bala Hai Kya. Kamish Sa Afsana. And Sili Hawa Chaho. In Libas, 1988. Rajesh Roshan's collaboration with Dev Anand in Lutmar and Man Pasand resulted in songs such as Paa's Ho Tum Magar Karib and Samansuda Rajni Chanda, respectively. Lada had duets with Rafi such as Mujay Chaho Rahi Hain in Swayamwar, 1980. Kabi Kabi Bazuban in Johnny I Love You, 1982. Tuj Sang Preet. In Kamchur, 1982, Angrezi Mine Ket High. 
In Kud Dar, 1982, Onkyo Hai Onkyo Mine. In Nishan, 1983, Dushman Na Care. In Akir Kian, 1985, and Wada Na Tod. In Dil Tujko Dia, 1987, later featured in the soundtrack of the 2004 film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Bapi Lahiri was yet to launch a full fledged assault on the ears of the listeners with his bizarre compositions for Jitendra Sridhavi Jaya Prada films from the South and the disco influenced songs, and composed some really good songs for Lata such as Dorian Sab Mita Du in Sabut, 1980, Baith Baith Aj Aayi in Petita. 1980. John Kian Muje, in Agreement 1980, Toda Resham Lagta Hai, in Jodi 1981, Dard Ki Ragini, in Pius 1982, and Naino Mine Sapna, duet with Kishore Kumar in Himatwala 1983. Kayam also continues work with Lata Mangeshkar during the 80s and gave some big hits such as Hazar Rahane Mud, duet with Kishore Kumar in Thodizi Biwafai 1980. Sim Ti Huyi, from Chambal Ki Kusam, 1980. Na Jane Kya Wa, in Dard, 1981, Nakhuda, 1981. Some above average Lata Nitin Mukesh duets such as Tamhari Palkan Ki, Chandni Riyat Mine, in Dil E Nadan, 1982. Dikai Diye, in Bazaar, 1982. Chand Kpaas, in I Dil E Nadan, 1982. Barleen Tumhi, and Aja Nindia Aja, from Lori, 1984, and Kiran Kiran Mine Shokian, in Ek Naya Rishta, 1988. In June 1985, the United Way of Greater Toronto invited Lata Mangeshkar to perform at Maple Leaf Gardens. She filled 12,000 seats, raising $150,000 for the charity. On the request of Anne Murray Lada sings her song You Needed Me in the Concert, during the 80s, Lada gave some big hits such as Sun Sahiba Sun in Ram Terry Ganga Meli Hogei 1985, for Ravindra Jain Chand Apna Safar in Shama 1981, Shayad Mary Shadi and Zindagi Pyar Ka in Sotan 1983, Hum Bool Gay Ri in Sotan Ki Bedi for Usha Khanna, which was probably the biggest hit of her career. Raidanath Mangeshkar had Kale Kale Gare Se in Chakra 1981, Ye Onken Dekh Kar, which had a slight Kayam touch and Kuch Log Mahabit Ko in Donwan 1981, Mujay Tum Yad Karna in Mashal 1984, John Du Mujay. In Shahensha 1989, for Amar Utpal, Sajan Mera Us Par. In Ganga Jamuna Saraswati, 1988, and Mir Pyar Ki Umar. In Waris, 1989, for Utam Jagdish. Topic: 1990s. During the 1990s, she recorded with music directors including Anand Miland, Nadim Shravan, Jatin Lalit, Dilip Sen Samir Sen, Utam Singh, Anu Malik, Adesh Srivastava and A. R. Rahman. She recorded some non-film songs, including Ghazals with Jagjit Singh. She has also sung with Kumar Sanu, Amit Kumar, S. P. Balasubramanyam, Udit Narayan, Haraharan, Suresh Wadkar, Muhammad Aziz, Abhijit Bhattacharya, Roop Kumar Rathod, Vinod Rathod, Gurdas Mann and Sonu Nigam. In 1990, Mangeshkar launched her own production house for Hindi movies which produced the Gulzar-directed movie Lekhan. She won her third National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer for her rendition of the song, Yara Silly Silly. From the film, which was composed by her brother Raidanath. Mangeshkar has sung for almost all the Yash Chopra films and films from his production house Yash Raj Films at that time, including Chandni, 1989, Lam, 1991, Dare, 1993, Ye Dilagi, 1994, Dilwale Dulhaniya Lajayange, 1995, Dil to Pagalhe, 1997, and later on Mohabuddin, 2000, Muchsi Dosti Karogi, 2002, and Veer Zara, 2004. 
During 1990, Mangeshkar records with Ram Laxman in Pathar K. Fool, 1991, 100 Days, 1991, Mehboob Mir Mehboob, 1992, Satwan Osman, 1992, I Love You, 1992 Film, 1992, Dil Ki Bazi, 1993, Antim Nye, 1993, The Melody of Love, 1993, The Law, 1994, Hum Apka Hain Kun, 1994, Mega, 1996, Lav Kush. 1997, Manchala 1999, and Dulhan Banu Main Terry 1999. A. R. Rahman recorded a few songs with Mangeshkar during this period, including Jia Jail in Dil Se, Kamishian Gunganane Lagan in 1 2 Ka 4, Ek 2 Hai Barosa in Pukar, Piara Sa Gaon in Zubida, So Gay Hain in Zubida, Luka Chupi in Rang de Basanti. O Palanhar in Lagan and Lodli in Ranak album. She made an appearance in the film Pukar singing this song. In 1994, Lata Mangeshkar released Shraddhanjali My Tribute to the Immortals. The special feature of the album is that Lata offer her tributes to immortal singers of the time by rendering a few of their songs in her own voice. There are songs of K.L. Segal, Rafi, Hemant Kumar, Mukesh, Punkai Malik, Kishore Kumar, Gita Dutt, Zorabai, Amarbai, Parul Ghosh, and Kanan Devi. Mangeshkar sang both Rahul Dev Burman's first and last songs. In 1994, she sang the last song, Kuch Na Kaho, for Rahul Dev Burman in 1942, A Love Story. In 1999, Lata Eau de Parfum, a perfume brand named after her, was launched. In 1999, Mangeshkar was nominated as a member of Raja Sabha. However, she did not attend the Raja Sabha sessions regularly, inviting criticism from several members of the House, including the Deputy Chairperson Najma Heptula, Pranab Mukherjee, and Shabana Azmi. She stated the reason for her absence as ill health. It was also reported that she had not taken a salary, allowance, or a house in Delhi for being a member of parliament. Topic 2000s. In 2001, Lata Mangeshkar was awarded Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor. In the same year, she established the Master Dinanath Mangeshkar Hospital in Pune, managed by the Lata Mangeshkar Medical Foundation founded by the Mangeshkar family in October 1989. In 2005, she designed a jewellery collection called Swaranjali, which was crafted by Adora, an Indian diamond export company. Five pieces from the collection raised £105,000 at a Christie's auction, and a part of the money was donated for the 2005 Kashmir earthquake relief. Also in 2001, she recorded her first Hindi song with the composer Ilaya Raja. For the film Laja, she had earlier recorded Tamil and Telugu songs composed by Ilaya Raja. Lata Mangeshkar's song, Wada Na Tad, is in the film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, 2004, and on the film soundtrack. On 21 June 2007, she released the album Sadgi, featuring eight Ghazal-like songs written by Javed Akhtar and composed by Mayuresh Pai. 2010s On 12 April 2011, she released another album Sarhadian, Music Beyond Boundaries. The album has a rare duet, Tara Milna Bara Akhalaj. By Lata Mangeshkar and Mehdi Hassan, written by Pakistan's Farhat Shahzad. The album features Usha Mangeshkar, Suresh Wadkar, Hara Haran, Sonu Nigam, Rekha Bardwaj, and another Pakistani singer, Ghulam Ali. After 14 years, Lata Mangeshkar recorded a song for composer Nadim Shravan, Kese Pia Sai Mine Kaho, for Biwafa. 2005. After Kitni Ajib Rishti Hain Yahan Par, for Page 3, 2005, and Dada Sunla. For Jail, 2009, Shamir Tandon once again recorded a song with Lata Mangeshkar, Tere Hasni Sai Mujeko, for the film Satranji Parachute, 2011. After a hiatus, Lata Mangeshkar is back in playback singing and recorded a song, Jina Kya Hai, Jana Main, for the sequel of Kapil Sharma's queer love story Dunno Why. 
Na John Kian at her own studio. On 28 November 2012, Lata Mangeshkar launched her own music label, LM Music, with an album of bhajans, Swami Samarth Maha Mantra, composed by Mayuresh Pai. She sang with younger sister Usha on the album. In 2014, she recorded Sharadwani Bengali songs, including poetry by Salil Chowdhury, also composed by Pai. Bengali career Mangeshkar has sung 185 songs in Bengali, making her debut in 1956 with the song, Prem Ekbari Esakilo Narob, composed by Hemant Kumar. It became a classic hit song. The same year, she recorded, Rangila Banshite, composed by Bupen Hazarika, which was also a hit. In the late 1950s, she recorded a string of hits such as, Jar Uday Jer Paki, Na Jona, and Ogo Aar Kichu 2 Noy, all composed by Salil Chowdhury, and which were respectively adapted in Bollywood as Jer Udjaa Re Panchi and Tasvir Tere Dil Mine in Maya, for Mala Sinha, and O Sajna in Parak, for Sadna. In 1960, she recorded Akash Pradip Jol, a smash hit even today. Later in the 1960s, she sang hits like Ekbar Bade de Ma Gor Ashi, Sat Bai Champa, K Pratham Kash Isechi, Naiham Sandye, Chanchal Man Anmona, Ashar Sraban, Bolchi Tomar Kani, and Aj Man Shayash by composers like Sudan Das Gupta, Hemant Kumar, and Chowdhury. Her 1986 classic, Amija K Tomar, was recreated by Arman Malik in the 2017 film Amara Panjan. Topic: <inaudible> Overall collaboration. From the 1940s to the 1970s, Mangeshkar sang duets with Asha Bosli, Saraya, Usha Mangeshkar, Muhammad Rafi, Kishore Kumar, Mukesh, Mana Day, Hemant Kumar, and Mahendra Kapoor. In 1964, she sang Chanda Se Hoga with P.B. Srinivas from Main B. Ladki Hoon. Mukesh died in 1976. The 1980s saw the deaths of Muhammad Rafi and Kishore Kumar. Mangeshkar's last duets with Muhammad Rafi were during the 1980s. She continued to sing with Shabir Kumar, Shailendra Singh, Nitin Mukesh, Mukesh's son, Manhar Udas, Amit Kumar, Kishore Kumar's son, Muhammad Aziz, Vinod Rathod, and S.P. Balasubramanyam. In the 1990s, Mangeshkar began singing duets with Pankaj Udas, Muhammad Aziz, Abhijit Bhattacharya, Udit Narayan, Kumar Sanu, and Suresh Wadkar. Her most notable work of the 90s was Dilwale Dulhaniya La Jayange with songs such as Mir Waban Mine Jo Aaye, Ho Gaya Hai Tujko Ta Pyar Sajna, Tuja Dekha Ta Ye Janam Sanam, and Medni Laga K Rakna. In the 2000s, Mangeshkar's duets were mainly with Udit Narayan and Sonu Nigam. 2005 06 were the years of her last well known songs. K's PSA from Biwafa and Shayad Yehai to Pyar Hay from Lucky, No Time for Love, with Adnan Sami and Luka Chupi in Rang de Basanti 2006 film with A. R. Rahman. She sang Ek Tu Hai Barosa from Pukar. Other notable songs of this decade were from Veer Zara, sung with Udit Narayan, Sonu Nigam, Jagjit Singh, Roop Kumar Rathod, and Gurdas Man. One of her latest songs was Jina Hai Kya from Dunno Y2 2014. Topic: Non-singing career. Topic: Music direction. Lata Mangeshkar composed music for the first time in 1955 for the Marathi movie Ram Ram Pavana. Later in the 1960s, she composed music for following Marathi movies under the pseudonym of Anand Gan. 1960 Ram Ram Pavana 1963 Maratha Tituka Melveva 1963 Mohitianchi Manjula 1965 Sadi Manes 
1969 Tambadi Matish won Maharashtra State Government's Best Music Director Award for the film Sadi Manes. The song, Aranichya Deva Tula, from the same film received Best Song Award. Production Lata Mangeshkar has produced four films 1953 Vadal, Marathi. 1953 Janjar, Hindi, co-produced with Siram Chandra. 1955 Kanchan, Hindi. 1990 Lekan, Hindi. Topic: <laughs> Awards and recognitions. Lata Mangeshkar has won several awards and honors, including Bharat Ratna India's highest civilian award, Padma Bhushan 1969, Padma Vibhushan 1999, Dadasaheb Phalke Award 1989, Maharashtra Bhushan Award 1997, NTR National Award 1999, Bharat Ratna 2001, Legion of Honor 2007, ANR National Award 2009, three National Film Awards and 12 Bengal Film Journalists Association Awards awards. She has also won four Filmfare Best Female Playback Awards. In 1969, she made the unusual gesture of giving up the Filmfare Best Female Playback Award, in order to promote fresh talent. She was later awarded Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award in 1993 and Filmfare Special Awards in 1994 and 2004. In 1984, the state government of Madhya Pradesh instituted the Lata Mangeshkar Award in honor of Lata Mangeshkar. The state government of Maharashtra also instituted a Lata Mangeshkar Award in 1992. In 2009, Mangeshkar was awarded the title of Officer of the French Legion of Honor, France's highest order. In 2012, Lata Mangeshkar was one of the top ten nominees in the Greatest Indian Poll, which was sponsored by Reliance Mobile and conducted by Outlook magazine, in partnership with CNN Ibn and the History Channel. Ostad Bade Ghulam Ali Khan said Kambot, Kabi Besori Nahoti, she is never off key. Dilip Kumar once said, Lata Mangeshkar ki awaz kudrat ki taklik ka ek karishma hain, meaning Lata Mangeshkar's voice is a miracle from God. <laughs> Guinness controversy In 1974, the Guinness Book of Records listed Lata Mangeshkar as the most recorded artist in the history, stating that she had reportedly recorded, "...not less than 25,000 solo, duet and chorus-backed songs in 20 Indian languages." Between 1948 and 1974. Her record was contested by Muhammad Rafi, who was claimed to have sung around 28,000 songs. After Rafi's death, in its 1984 edition, the Guinness Book of World Records stated Lata Mangeshkar's name for the most recordings, but also stated Rafi's claim. The later editions of Guinness Book stated that Lata Mangeshkar had sung no fewer than 30,000 songs between 1948 and 1987. The entry was discontinued by Guinness editions in 1991 without explanation, while several sources continued to claim that she recorded thousands of songs, with estimates ranging up to figures as large as 50,000. However, even the earliest Guinness claim of 25,000 songs between 1948 to 1974 was disputed and claimed to have been exaggerated by several others, stating that the number of songs sung by Lata Mangeshkar in Hindi films till 1991 was found to be 5,025. Mangeshkar herself has stated that she does not keep a record of the number of songs recorded by her, and that she did not know from where Guinness Book editors got their information. In 2011, the entry was revived by Guinness crediting the record to her sister Asha Bosli as the most recorded artist in music history, for recording up to 11,000 solo, duet and chorus-backed songs and in over 20 Indian languages since 1947. Since 2016, current record in this category belongs to Pulapaka Sushila, for recording at least 17,695 songs in six languages, not counting some lost early recordings. See also List of Indian playback singers List of songs by Lata Mangeshkar Playback singer 
Bollywood songs Asha Bosli Mangeshkar family <laughs>